What's up, everyone? For the win attach, you here, you know what it is. The first of two unlockable battle for Azeroth Allied races. We're going to be going over the Maghar Orcs. So, to unlock the Maghar race, you must have Battle for Azeroth expansion. Uh, next, you must complete the Allied Races Maghar Orc Hidden Character Achievement and unlock the requirements. So this involves a special recruitment quest and some prerequisites, which include the tracking achievement of Allied Races Maghar Orc Unlock requirements. It's marked as an account-wide progress, so you can do it account-wide. Um, one, you gotta do Ready for War, which requires players to complete the Horde War campaign, uh, which will take several weeks to complete. Um, so again, I have released all of my war campaign videos for the Horde side, so get your Ready for War achievement and complete your Horde War campaign. And next, you have to get Exalted with the Honor Bound, which is a Horde-only reputation. <clears throat> it can be attained mostly while completing the campaign steps, while uh, the rest of the reputation is completed by doing Honor Bound World Quests, as well as the Emissary, uh, Warfront Contributions, and more. So. Once you have completed Ready for War, which is the Horde War campaign, and gotten to Exalted with Honorbound, you will now be able to go ahead and do a special recruitment uh, scenario for Magcar Orcs, which I'm about to show you right now. And then you would have your achievement, Allied Race, Magcar Orc, and you can now create a Magcar Orc. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Horde War Emissary location. Let's go ahead and speak to Eltrig. This is the same location, by the way, for the rest of the allied races, which you can see we currently have here. The, uh, the High Mountain Torn, you've got the Night Board. Uh, we also are going to eventually have Trolls, so stay tuned for that. But um, we also have, what's it called? So we got the Magkar Orc, Nightborn, as well as High Mountain Torn for the Horde here. Again, we're eventually gonna have the Trolls, and then for the Alliance, you got your own location. So stay tuned for that one. Uh, so let's go ahead and pick this up. Vision of Time. Meet with Chief Telemancer. Akuleth in Zul'dazar. So. Years ago, let's go ahead and listen to this. pursued the fugitive Garrosh Hellstream to an echo of the Draenor I once knew. In saving Draenor from Garrosh and the Burning Legion, this champion earned the trust of the orcs there. They owe the Horde a debt. I propose we collect what is owed to us. An army of militant orcs from another world? Trained soldiers. Weapons waiting to be fixed upon the Alliance. Interesting. I see the value in this plan. But I thought the door to that other Draenor had closed. I have obtained a fragment of the artifact Garrosh used to travel to that world. I believe it can open the way again, but I will need help to do it. Our Nightborn allies possess a particular affinity for teleportation. I suggest you draw upon their knowledge to aid you on your journey. By your leave, War Chief. Come, Champion. Stop calling me Champion and call me by my real name, fam. But, uh, we're going back to Zul'dazar, so I'll catch you guys there. Alright, so now that we've made it over to uh, Zul'dazar, uh, right in the portal room, uh, you can go ahead and Why speak hello? to Chief Telemancer, uh, which is the Nightborn. Uh, meet with Anachronos in the Caverns of Time. So we're now going to go ahead and head on over to the Caverns of Time. So we've made it to the Caverns of Time. Got to speak to the little bronze drake here. Uh, next up, defeat the Echo of Gul'dan at the Dark Portal in Blasted Lands. So now we gotta go ahead and make our way over to the Blasted Lands, man. These guys love to make me run around, don't they? Alright! The Echoes of Magic. Something going on here. Tingo on the lingo. We gotta go ahead and click on this time rip. Oh snap. The Echo of Gul'dan. You'll never escape. Let's the end game. Oh, bro, we're actually... Uh, I wonder if he will actually do... He's actually doing his um, abilities. So this is a true Echo of Gul'dan. <laughs> this is interesting. I like this. This is epic. Burn from within. It just sucks that... Oh, come on. I gotta summon, I gotta summon the eyes of Gul'dan. I gotta teach him. 
We gotta teach him what's going on here. Come on, let me summon the eyes of Gul'dan again. Let me teach him who's the real owner of the Gul'dan power. Please. Eyes of Gul'dan, where you at? I don't want to move. I don't even take damage from him. That's kind of sad. Nope, didn't get the eyes of Gul'dan out. The only one... Oh, man. Let's actually just hit him up with a tyrant. This is done. I'm not going to be able to get the eyes out, sadly. I can stun this boss. Cooldown will not be missed, not in this, nor any other timeline. I actually do miss cooldown, so I don't know what you're talking about, bro. And then, defeat the Echo of Warlord Zayla at the Temple of White Tiger in Kunlai Summit. Holy crap, you're making me go all the way over there, too. Alrighty, another time rift here. Let's go ahead and click on this one and deal with this guy. Or the true horde. Okay. Well, I need to get my portal out. Make life easy. It's always life. It's always nice to make life easy, isn't it? Watch me get the Gul'dan eyes now. When I, yep, I told you. Watch me get the Gul'dan eyes. Why couldn't I get you guys last fight? This game, man. This game. I've got unlimited prop, so I was. I yeah, actually, I got an, I still got unlimited prop. Why don't you have? Oh, you don't even have taunt on, bro. Like, what are you doing? You're failing me right now. You failing? Uh, let's get the tyrant out. Make life easy. Back to my make life easy motto, fam. Alright. My shard grows in power. Uh, meet Anachronos outside the gates of Orgrimmar. Then defeat the Echo of Garrosh within the siege of Orgrimmar. Right. We've made it out to outside of the gates of Orgrimmar, and we're now going into the Mists of Pandaria raid, the Siege of Orgrimmar. Had some fun times in this raid, I remember. Alright, so we got uh, the Echo of Garrosh House Screams gotta be slain. Okay, they don't have the map, that kinda sucks. Oh, I'm supposed to, you know what? I'm not going around that way. I always I don't miss this. I don't miss this raid one bit. If it's like Dark Iron, you just got started. Oh damn. That's not what I wanted to hear. What? Why? Why can't I attack? Oh, I don't have my pe- I have to actually cast it now. Oh, that's why. I didn't have to cast it before. It's instant cast in PvP, but I'm in an actual instance in a dungeon right now. Oh boy, I technically a raid. Is that- What's great is all of these mini echoes use their boss mechanics. Wait, do I have to kill those? Do I have to kill those things? Oh shit! Good thing I. Uh, good thing I'm not paying attention. Do I have to kill the dudes? No, they don't. Wait, do they spawn? No, they don't spawn. It's just hit. Is he gonna take me to those extra phases that I didn't like and enjoy? Well, I'm gonna get hit again. I uh, defensive cooldown and I don't take damage. <laughs> That's technically what I was doing back in Siege of Orgrimmar days, towards the end. I'm getting all the power, fam. I'm getting all the power.
Alright, so I gotta speak to the sheep. At the great seat of Desire Lore. So, I shall hopefully get a portal. If I don't, I'm gonna be pissed off. No portal? Alright, leave instance it is. Catch you guys there. Alright, back to portal magic, dude, in the portal room in Bizarre Allure. And then we now speak to the orc here, restoring old bonds. Uh, speak to Oculeth to travel to Draenor and meet with Maghar. Alright, Oculeth, I speak to you. We do a quest. I am ready to go to Draenor. We're in the world of Draenor. I could have just used my garrison portal this whole damn time. Do they not know this? I have a garrison portal that takes me to Warlords of Draenor. Do they not to know this? Look at this. I open my bag. Garrison portal. Or garrison heart. Same thing. Alright, so meet the... Okay, so this is actually... Okay, so we're in an actual dungeon. This isn't the real Warlords of Draenor. So, yeah. No, you just dismount... What the... Fucking hell is this? No, I don't want to recruit these guys. They don't even know who I am. Green skin, disgusting. I have heard tales of the corruption, but never. Wait, what? Did we not even do Warlords of Draenor? Did I not come here, fam? Do you not know me? I protect. I attack. I've helped you. And you just, I'm just getting dragged along on a rope, man. This is disgusting things. Do they not remember the black foundry days? Alright, pay homage to the orc clan symbols. Aw, oh, man, where's the orc clan symbols? That thing. It's the same, oh, no, it's not the same. Alright, there's another orc clan symbol. And um, we got another orc clan symbol. How many of these are there? Please tell me there's no more. Too far away. Alright, sweet. So that was uh, Warsong, Frostwolf, and Blackrock. That's actually pretty cool. Speak. Alright, what's next? Ah, oh, there he is. There's my boy, Grandma Shell Screen. He should remember me. Dude, how do you not know who I am, bro? Do not waste my time, lesser creature. Oh, this is so cool. I'm reading. If I'm reading, you guys better be reading this, fam. This is this is epic stuff that's going on right now. Blood and thunder. Assist down, Victory. ogre dude. All right, ogre man, you're gonna die. Why can't I fly? That's what I want to know. This is bull. Bad and boozy sheep. Alright, so yeah, again, this isn't real Warlords of Draenor, which is why I couldn't hard to this place. Because none of this is actually here yet, man. I mean, some of it is, but these NPCs aren't really here. This is kind of dumb. They owe us a debt. And we're, we're, they're, we're making them owe us more debt. Like, it makes no sense. They owe us debt, but we're making them owe us more because now we're doing more stuff for them. Oh well. Back to Stone Mall where we did a bonus objective and killed these dudes. So right now I can't kill these guys because, okay, there we go. Come on, why are you, why am I in an instance? Why can't I use my PvP abilities, man? I 
Uh, at least these things die easily. I'm just running in and pulling them and they pretty much die. I like this. I like these guys helping me out here. I'm making my way to the back. Alright, there's no more over there. Cause I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to kill like some big bad boss to wait for back. Alright, that's eight. Alright, throne of Korgal. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm eventually gonna have to go. Might as well come in here. I, again, I've done this already. With a brown orc dude. So I don't know why you're making me do all of this again. I've, I've, I've accomplished Warlord of Renard content. And you're making me redo it. Alright, where, where do I turn in uh, Korgal... Something of Korgath feeling all right, that's what I thought. Let's go. I came in here for a reason. You guys can kill that. Hold up. Hold up. This isn't even gonna get me up there, fam. Bullshit. Why? I'll have to go that way, really? Ah, uh, do you... Wait, what? No. I don't think this goes that... Oh, it does. Yeah, I remember now. I remember. What's up, Korgal? You going down, my bro. Alright, well, you're going down, bro. I'm gonna get rid of the priest first, because I'm smart. I'm a smart person. Yo, priest is good. You got to know healers now, me. What are you gonna do without heals, my G? Alright, now we bring out the boy. El Tyrant. Can I stun? No, but you're dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, now what? Talk to you, complete quest, and assist against the tyranny of life. Alright. Alright, so I gotta accompany this dude. Wait, whoa, 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 why are you going so fast? Why you move so fast? Seriously, can I have the speed boost, bro? What do you, you don't even have a buff on me. How do you get the speed boost? Alright, so we gotta go kill some, defeat some other people. Let's go do this. Tyranny of Light scenario completed. So we got a scenario to complete. Alright, never mind, I was not even going to the exit. Oh, we're, having, we're gonna have some epic time doing a scenario. The stone mall ogres are smart. The other ogres were not smart. That's pretty much what I've just witnessed. 
Now, Stone Maw Ogres, are you gonna join the Horde as an allied race in the near future? I don't see why not. There's the uh, the scenario thing that's gonna get played out over there. Beast Watch. We get to use a big Yetin thing. All right, so we're here. That means. What does it mean? We are holding a line. A line of what? A line of what? Oh, I see. I see how we do things. Uh, can I just charge in and kill though? Like, so I gotta defend Beast Watch, right? Like, can I just go on some tanks or something? I'm ready to just go smash. I'm ready to slash and gash, fam. Back to AOE up in this beach. I don't think that was smart. But we do what it gonna do because I'm a cool guy. Oh shit. This guy's AIDS. Come help. Come and help a key. Come help a key. Alright, this is a scenario, so this feels like it's the end. Ah, oh, big dude. Coming in. For the win. Alright, I'm coming in, bro. I'm coming in to help. Let me mount up. We're almost at 50%. Damn, straight. What's going on? Alright, let's go just kill all this. Uh, gonna be a lot of percentage to my rep. Oh! Finally! When I need him the most. Oh, shit. When I need him the most, and he ain't getting that uh, that aggro pam. I'm dead. <laughs> I died in an easy scenario. Uh, that, so that's what not to do uh, when you are doing this. Don't go in AOE pulling if you're a clothy like me. You will die. That sucks. I summoned Malkazar too. See, that's what happens. I, I get Malkazar when it's like, I don't need him or he's just not worth it. That was a situation when he was not worth it because he didn't help. All right, resurrect, bring out the boy. And just in case, because I didn't think it was going to be difficult. Alright, so I got the boy going in. Oh, that's why I don't got those douchey people helping me anymore. Alright, Flame Boy over here doing some damage. No one likes Flame Boy. Go away, Flame Boy. Alright, Flame Boy's almost done. That's actually finished shoe in the background. You're dealing damage for no reason. Alright, 75, 80. So, oh, you can just click these and I think you get a percentage. What, am I just destroying it? Oh, damn it. I should have just done that in the beginning. I'm so dumb. Well, let's see, this is why you guys watch my videos. Next time you do this, you know, just click these things. Alright, next up, look for Exarch in the uh, Evermorn hole. Uh, I think I already see. I see things. There we go. I see things. Oh, damn. Epic stuff happening here. There he is. Oh, I was like, why is the light here? Okay, now I get it. So we're helping them. So the Alliance decided to be douchebag. So for those of you that have done Dark Iron Dwarves, who was the douchebags for your side? Like, we got the light for the Draenei becoming douchebags. I don't know why, but... 
I guess you guys like to do dumb things. Ow. I'm proper defensive cooldown because that was a huge owl fam. Dark Angel, I, I meant Cold Tyrion fam. Sorry about that. Not the Cold Tyrion, the Dark Angel Dwarves, but I mean, the, what is this? Click to read. I'm just lost. I don't know. I meant to say Dark Angel Dwarves, yes. Cold Tyrion's later. Uh, meet with. Alright, we gotta go back. I guess we've done what we needed. We stopped the Light Forge Draenei from being douche to my, my brown fellows. My brown fellows, fam. I don't like all this movement. What's up, Sylveon? Welcome back. That is good to hear. Alright, so we got a lot of... Alright, we're back at Beast Watch. We're back to this guy. Await orders from the War Chief. Of course I fought well. I'm the one that helped you guys a couple of expansions ago. Come on, fam. You should know me. Alright, here we go. Lightforge Draenei, Bean McDouches, aka the Alliance. I'm ready. Alright, so, defense of the tower. So, do I just go up? Use the turret at the top of the tower. Yep, alright, cool. Let's go up. Up on a Tuesday. Wait, what day is it? It's. Not even Tuesday, is it? It's like Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. Warlords of Draenor? Um, I'm not doing Warlords of Draenor, no. I'm doing Magkar Orc. Uh, let's see, this one. I, I click it, I click it and it don't work. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so I get to just choose wherever I want to shoot. Is that how things work here? Alright, whatever you say. Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, this is gonna feel epic. Look at this. Look at this. Alright, so what does this one do? Oh, that's a big bomb, boys. Big bombs. Big bomb. Big bomb teams. Big bomb team. Okay, so I use the big bomb for the big dudes. Alright. Big bombs for big dudes. I help you out, my fellows. Why? Why so many NPCs? I'm trying. Oh, the big, the big dudes just die anyway. Big dudes die anyways. Oh, I love these type of quests when you're just like in a cannon or a ship and you're just doing bits by throwing freaking bombs, or you're in a helicopter or a freaking airplane and you're just going nuts. Destroying the enemy forces, like you, you know, you know, you're pushing them back hard when you're done. Man. You know they're pretty much done. All right, well that is done. Got to make my way down. All right, gotta make my way downtown. Walking fast. Don't even know where I'm going. Do -do 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 -do. <clears throat> All right, so. Who do I speak it to? Because I've pushed them back pretty hard. There we go, this guy. There are too many. We cannot hold this line forever. What do you mean? I just did some bits. Who is this? Who's speaking? Hi, L. Irel. Oh, 
Oh, so the Alliance want the Magkar Orcs to join them. I see. The Alliance want the Magkar Orcs to join them. However, no. Because the Magkar Orcs don't believe in your shitty light, Alliance. So shitty light. They believe in and embrace the Dark Horde. And that's why they join us. Somehow it's a narrow escape when I could have defeated him. Just gonna say, I could have defeated him. Just myself. But that was the scenario. How much longer do we have? So again, so far this has been the best allied quest line of all time. Alright, so. I will hear your words. There we go. Uh, return to Warchief and Orgamar. I'm gonna get a Maghar Dire Wolf. Alright, we have made it back. I trust you will not waste my time. I, I will not, because uh, I brought some more allies to the Horde. Our mission was successful. Yes! So, with the Maghar Orcs now able to be used on my account, uh, this is basically what they're all about. The Orc clans of Draenor never drank the demon blood and corrupted their distant kin, so proud and defiant, they stood united as one tribe, the Maghar, with their unrelent unrelenting courage and fierce sense of honor, the Maghar now fight to claim a new home on Azeroth within the Horde. As you can see, this is the uh, the heritage armor set for the Maghar Orc. This is a male version, and we also of course have the female version. The Maghar Orcs with their heritage armor set look absolutely sick. So. We've unlocked the race again. You gotta reach Exalted with the Unabound and earn the achievement Ready for War, which is completing the war campaign on the Horde side. They have the abilities of Ancestral Call, invoke the power of your ancestors, granting you their power, open skies, faster mount speed while outdoors, uh, sympathetic vigor, uh, which is pet health, is increased, as well as savage blood, reduces the duration on all poisons, diseases, and curse effects on you. Pretty, pretty cool. Cannot wait to actually make one myself. So thank you all very much for tuning in. Peace, guys. I'm